On the 2nd of April 1998, the Irish Supreme Court, consisting of Judges Hamilton, O'Flaherty, Denham, Barrington and the Chief Justice Keane, delivered a critical judgment in relation to the issue of in-camera courts in Ireland. You can see here the judgment which involved many of the Irish media elements such as the Irish Times, Cork Examiner and Judge Anthony Murphy, RTE Television and the Attorney General and the Director of Public Prosecutions. This judgment delivered on the second day of April 1998 is by Chief Justice Ronan Keane. If we move to page 4 of the judgment you will see here what is one of the punctuated periods of equilibrium where for some Freudian or other reason it seems that integrity and truth was allowed escape from the judicial quagmire which exists in Ireland. In the following quotation from the judgment Chief Justice Keane made the following statement. Justice must be administered in public, not in order to satisfy the merely prurient or mindlessly inquisitive, but because if it were not, an essential feature of a truly democratic society would be missing. Such a society could not tolerate the huge void that would be left if the public had to rely on what might be seen or heard by casual observers rather than on a detailed daily commentary by press, radio and television. The most benign climate for the growth of corruption and abuse of powers, whether by the judiciary or members of the legal profession, is one of secrecy. I ask you to critically reflect once again on the following sentence. The most benign climate for the growth of corruption and abuse of powers, whether by the judiciary or members of the legal profession, is one of secrecy.